G'day. Just a quick chat about uh, the gas and the gas hot water system. So this is the control panel for your uh, Truma hot water. Um, so the top toggle is 60 degrees, the middle toggle is, is off, and the bottom toggle is 70 degrees. So I'm just going to flick it over to 70. And I just heard the click of the igniter trying to, to light. And hopefully everything should work. But, bang, we've got a light. So that's a fault light. So if you see this red light come on, that means there's a fault. So we're just going to work out why there's a fault. Let's go and find out why. So we saw we had that warning light come on that uh, was showing that we've got a fault. And probably the four main reasons we, we've got a fault light coming on would be uh, no gas. So we've got to make sure we, our gas connection is going through. Uh, no water. If you don't have either the mains water hooked up or at least the, the water pump engaged to put water into that tank, you'll get a fault light. Um, exhaust vent cover, which I'll show you in a moment. If the exhaust vent cover is on, that'll, that'll give a, a fault light. And probably the last one is uh, sometimes when it's really windy and, and the wind can focus in, um, even though you've got that exhaust vent cover off, um, it can actually blow out the pilot light and throw up a fault after a few times or it could keep reigniting. But that's about it. Anyway, I'm just going to talk to you about the gas. So you can either have uh, you know, two eight and a half kilo bottles, um, two four kilo bottles or one of each or whatever combination you like. Um, your regulator's here that's already been adjusted. Um, like you can see I've got one hose hooked up to this bottle, this one I haven't got it actually hooked up at all. And then you've got a control valve under here, which is pointing to the direction of flow. So if you actually have it pointing to the direction of the bottle you're coming from, that means we're taking the gas from here. And I just check my gas and I didn't have the gas on. So that could be one of the reasons why the fault light came on. So let's hook up this gas. Uh, let's grab that ponytail from here. Okay, he twists out of it, and uh, we'll just push one of these valves in. Take that out. Line up the uh, quick bayonet fitting. Now we've got this gas connected. Well, just before we do the hot water. I'm just going to make sure the gas is all flowing through here. So just give it a few sections of trying to light a couple. And now we've got flamage, so we know that the gas is actually flowing through. So we, we know that it's sort of eliminated the, the air out of the wine and we've got LPG flowing all the way through. Exhaust vent cover. If the exhaust vent cover is on and closed, then that will cause the light to, to come on. So yeah, mine's got a bit of dust and dirt in there, but it still works fine. So now it's open, we shouldn't have a, an issue. Uh, look, sometimes um, you can just grab a little bit of string and just hold that in about this position for those who have got the cover like I have um, when it's really windy and it shouldn't blow out the pilot light. Water. Well, I haven't got the pump on. And I haven't got mains connected, so if there's no water going into the system, once again, a fault light will come on. Um, I just use a little chair, chair stopper to stop the wasp nest coming in. But I'm um, just going to hook up some mains water. Okay. So I've had that hot water on for about five minutes and uh, I'll just give it a test now. And um, yeah, I can start feeling it's definitely getting warm and that's, yeah, it's definitely hot water, right? Yep. So that's about all it takes. Um, for us off grid, we always just run it on, on gas. Um, even at the van park, to be honest, most of the time we just run it on just the gas alone. But a lot of people have the 240 volt switch on and the gas. Doesn't matter. Right? It just means it probably gets hotter a little bit quicker. That's it.